Do you feel like you're constantly being pressed to finish edits or your clients are just on your ass about hitting deadlines and no matter what you try to do, it just isn't fast enough? See, the thing is you're trying, but you're not doing, are you? Lucky for you, the Flow God has 10 more hacks for you to be faster in your editing. How much faster? a hundred times faster. Before I start, I should mention that I have made one similar video to this one with 10 other completely different hacks for you sexy faces to be editing geniuses. Editing speedsters. Now for the first secret hack, open your damn layout. What is this? It's best when you can see most of your timeline and so that's why I would recommend getting a bigger monitor. But if it's not in the budget just yet, close up your panels, get rid of the mixer, and don't have the panels expanded all the way to the bottom. Minimize them. Now don't you feel a lot less cluttered now? Exactly. Number two is gonna be the delete gap shortcut. There are times that your timeline may look like this, for whatever reason, and you want to bring all the clips together. Don't be this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, bringing the clips all together one by one, we don't do that here. We're high achievers. We do things quickly. In a snap, we get things done. So to help you do that, just use the delete gap shortcut. What you're gonna do is go to keyboard shortcuts. From there, you will look for delete gaps. Once you find that, you're gonna assign your specific keys that you wanna attach to that shortcut, and voila. I personally have it attached to Alt-1. And something else that you should know, if you don't want all the spaces in your timeline to get deleted, just select the clips that you want to delete gaps through, and just like that, it will delete the gaps to those individual clips. Moving on to the third hack, scrub trim with the trim tool. I'm not sure if it's really called like that. I just made that up because I don't know what else to call it. What you might have done before is expand the clip looking for the part where you want to use and then trim that down to fit the section you need it in. But with the trim tool, what you can do now is simply drag the clip around and just like that, find the clip that you want. Number four, this is probably one of the most important hacks that you can implement into your editing. Stop having your phone next to you when you edit. Because even if you don't get that many notifications, if you just get that one notification and you get distracted and you go into your phone, you're gonna find yourself mindlessly scrolling through Instagram for 30 minutes. <laughs> And then once you get a grasp of reality, you're gonna come back and realize, holy shit. And what happens if you do that for one, two, three, four times a day? How many hours a day are you spending that you can be putting into your editing and it's slowing you down? So to avoid that mistake, just get rid of your phone and just focus. Hold up for just a second. If you're getting value out of this video, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, not because it's gonna help the channel out, but because the editing gods are watching. Integrate Frame.io with DaVinci Resolve. You're using Frame.io to have clients review your work and give you revisions, right? So when you finish your video, what do you do? You export it, then from export, you drag it into Frame.io, and after waiting a while, you'll get your 264 notes from your clients and be like, geez, Louise, what did I do to deserve this? And if you have multiple videos, you're gonna go back into your timeline, scrubbing around, looking for those timestamps. Stop, don't, you don't gotta do all that. The amount of time that you're wasting doing that is despicable, despicable. From now on, just export your video through frame.io export presets and have it automatically uploaded to frame. But wait, there is more. Now when your client leaves their 843 notes on your video, you can just go back into your editor, see exactly where they have left notes. Hey, time is money, man. To set this up, just go to your preferences, internet accounts, and sign into your frame.io account. 
Number six is gonna be quickly rename your re-exports. If you were someone like me, you probably got to your 18th version of a video at some point in time. Make the exports just a little faster so you have less pain through this. Go to the browse in the location section, click on the last version of the video. That will automatically name the video as the previous video. And all you gotta do is just change the little last part to V3, meaning version three or V263. Number seven, it's gonna be use the finder to make shortcuts. You're probably going through folders hundreds of times for sound effects, graphics, or folders where you're keeping your assets. Instead of going to look through those folders every time individually, just make a shortcut that will take you directly into those folders. And the days of you going from folder to folder to find what you need are done. Number eight is gonna be take notes on how to create certain effects. So if you're a genius like me, and you go on YouTube for every effect that you need to learn. Well, what happens when you have to recreate that effect that you learned a couple months later and you probably forgot? Well, what you should have done is created notes for it. So whenever you had to revisit that effect, you can just go back to those notes instead of watching full videos, waste 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, re-watching a video, doing it step by step, when you could have just gone to a Google Docs and just recreated the effect there. Number nine is gonna be don't listen to music while you're editing. Now, depending on how concentrated you need to be, you should not be listening to music, parts of editing that require high levels of concentration. It's only gonna slow you down. But maybe you're coloring footage or you're working on visual effects or you're cutting down B-roll. All you need to know is that some music is more distracting than others. And you just need to find the music that allows you to concentrate if you do decide to listen to music. Just make sure to make a playlist ahead ahead of time so you're not skipping through songs because you don't like the songs that are being played. You're getting distracted and we're back to square one. And 10 but not least, I'm sure you've never heard of this one, but add more to your plate. Fill up your schedule. When you're busy and you got things to do, your brain is gonna work differently. It's gonna find ways where it can be faster. But Luzki, I'm watching this video because I don't wanna have to work more than I have to. Shut up, bitch! The point is to have more pressure to get things done quicker. It doesn't have to be more work. Whatever it is, fill up your schedule for the day. Make it tight so it forces you to finish those projects. Because I know there's some bozo out there that has the least amount of work and takes the longest amount of time to get that video turned around. I'm on to you. There are 10 more editing hacks, as I mentioned before, to speed up your workflow, keep your clients happy, and make you more money.